Okay, here's my M5 Stick C Arduino. Uh, you can get this for like under 10 bucks from M5 Stack. And so it's off right now, but I've got it loaded with my listener client code for the Tally Arbiter server. And so I'm gonna turn it on. The power button is this one on the side here. So I just hold it down for a couple seconds. And you'll see it boots up it very quickly, connects to Wi-Fi, connects to the Tally Arbiter server, and then it's automatically assigned to the first device that I have in Tally Arbiter, which is camera one. So uh, if I were to come over here on my Carbonite and choose to put it in preview, so let's let you see both those. As soon as I put it in preview, it lights up green. And if I were to come over here and choose cut, you'll see it go into program and changes to red. And of course you can do that just manually. You can uh, put it in the program bus on this layer. If I had them in both preview and program at the same time, it'd be yellow. Uh, that just lets you know that it's in both. Um, and it does all that pretty quickly. And so it's a nice little device. Um, if you want to adjust the brightness of the screen, you can press this button on this side and it'll just cycle through the different various brightnesses. And if you press the M5 button, it'll change over and show you the network data. So I'm on this SSID and it's connected to my internal server here and the battery percentage. Now the battery on the scene doesn't last very long, so I recommend keeping it plugged in uh, via the USB-C port on the side. Uh, but this, it's kind of nice for uh, wireless testing here. It works pretty well. So you just hit the button again, you can go back to the, the tally screen. And uh, that's how it works. Works pretty well. I'm excited to get more of these and try them out in different areas. This is a video to show you how to use the Arduino IDE and the Tally Arbiter M5 Stick C listener client to push to your device. So uh, once you download the script, you can open it up here, or they call it a sketch. Uh, and I've got these five libraries that we're using. So I had to install each of these. I went up here to sketch, include library, manage libraries, and I installed each one of these just by searching for it. So uh, it takes a second to load here. But then you can type in here, let's say I want to get that M5 stick C library, M5 stick C, and hit enter. And I've already got it installed, but if I didn't, I could click install. So I had to do that for all five of these. Um, the only thing you'll need to change after you download them is something within this socket IO client. Um, you'll see in the socket IO client.cpp file, you'll need to find that. It's in your Arduino library socket IO client and then it's called socket.io.client.cpp. Line 41, this hex dump function is never declared properly within this class. And so because it's not declared, you'll get an error when you try to compile. But it's just a debugging function. It doesn't seem to be necessary for it to work. So you can just comment that out with two slashes there at the beginning and then save that file and you're good to go. So now I'm gonna come in here and make sure my settings right. We'll go to tools. I want to make sure I've picked this board. So you come over here to board, ESP32 Arduino, and select it. Uh, if you didn't have that, you could add it through the boards manager. Upload speed. I just want to do one below the maximum. And then for the port, I need to choose the serial port, and I've chosen mine here. I'm on Mac OS. It might be a little bit different if you're on a Windows PC to choose that correct port. But just make sure you're referencing the USB port that your device is plugged into. So that's all good. So now I'm just going to hit compile. Um, actually, first you need to make sure that these user config variables are set. So uh, you need to make your, your SSID and your password for your wireless be accurate. And then you need to set your tally arbiter host and port. So I'm going to change that to what my actual one is so that this will work. And now I'm going to upload it. Okay, it's compiling now, and when it's done compiling, it's going to upload automatically to the device. All right, so now I can come up here to Serial Monitor, and I can see it. It actually boots pretty fast. So it booted, got on my Wi-Fi, got an IP, and now it is connected to the host. 
and it, it asked for some data and received some data. Uh, and actually, when it boots up for the first time, it automatically assigns itself to camera one, or really the first uh, device that's configured in Tally Arbiter. For me, that's camera one. It could be something else for you. Uh, and then if you wanted to change that, you could just go into your Tally Arbiter web settings and reassign it to a different device. But that's how you upload the sketch. It's pretty simple.